Hey everyone, what's up? It's me, Ice Shard, and welcome back to another episode of My Universe Mode. Now, in the last episode, we saw Solomon Crow get a big win over a Cruiserweight Classic qualifying member, um, <laughs> TJ Perkins, and tonight we're here on SmackDown, and let's see exactly what we got. So, first off, we got Sasha Banks, our new women's champion, taking on Becky Lynch. Then, Golden Truth will take on the Usos, and whoever wins will possibly be a little bit step closer to that world title match for Manny Andrade and Sin Cara's title. And then Johnny Gargano, our Cano champion, will be facing against Ryback. Edge and Christian team up once again to take on the social outcast. We could probably see Edge and Christian reforming. Charlotte, along with Ric Flair, once again, her, her uh, father, takes on Natalia. Then John Cena teams up with Dolph Ziggler to take on La Raza Superior. And Batista, along with Paul Heyman, again here tonight, takes on Cesaro. So we're going to simulate a few matches. Becky Lynch with a big win over Sasha Banks. All right, Golden Truth with a big win over the Usos. John Gagano defeats Ryback. Edge and Christian with a big old victory. Then we have John Cena and Dolph Ziggler getting a big win over Manny Andrade and Sin Cara Tag Team Champions. And then Cesaro with a big win over Batista. Wow. We've had a lot of big wins here tonight. Um, no, champions are knocked off. But here we have Charlotte along with her father, Ric Flair, coming on against Natalia. Now, Charlotte has recently added Ric Flair as her manager. Um, she's the former Divas champion. and So she's been getting a little bit step closer to the Women's Championship. However, on the uh, Raw Super Show, she actually lost against Sasha Banks. And so she's trying to rebuild herself back up. She was our first champion. She hasn't even been anywhere close to the championship ever since that time. And so hopefully if she's able, she could possibly get one more match. One more title match to prove she is the best wrestler in this division. However, it will be Paige and Sasha Banks at SummerSlam in the rematch. But Charlotte, I can see in the future, if uh, Sasha Banks is, is able to recapture and keep the title... And that could possibly mean that Sasha Banks and Charlotte could go at each other at the next pay-per-view, which I for, I believe it's Hell in a Cell. But then again, I just, I, I don't even care, really. I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. And uh, I know we have the Cruiserweight Classic next month, guys. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. And so... Um, hopefully we can get some big wins, so I uh, yeah, hope you guys are happy, or, uh, yeah, I really do, guys, that you, um, could hear my commentating once again. If you are, make sure you like that button, <laughs> like that button. That deserves a like, guys. That screwing up of words, my screwing up of words. But here comes... Scarlet Flair. Charlotte Flair, along with her daddy, wearing his white suit. <laughs> Making his way to the ring, accompanied by that nature boy, Ric Flair, from Charlotte, North Carolina, Charlotte. Charlotte is here. She is making her way down to the ring. Is he going to do it? Do it with Flair. And here comes Natalia, Bret Hart's niece, I believe. Yes, her niece, Uncle Brett, Uncle Brett. But Uncle Brett's not here tonight while Ric Flair is. And this match begins. And there's the bell. Oh, Michael, this is going to be fun to watch. And Charlotte is starting off with a headlock. And dropping her down. Oh, man. Make it oh. Easy. And chanting the woo. Oh, and once again, the nature boy's daughter, the nature girl, Charlotte Flair. Oh man, Ric Flair, oh Ric Flair whenever she actually got punched. He does not want to see his baby girl get punched, but if that must happen for her to get further, that's exactly what will happen. Charlotte has not been too big as of late. She has been getting more matches every night, and so hopefully that can help her. Um, talking about earlier tonight, Sasha Banks actually lost against Becky Lynch. Um, so maybe that can affect Sasha Banks in the long run. Oh, man. Ooh. 
Wait, wait. She's going for a forearm. And a drop kick. The tallness of Charlotte is so much better. It could help her in the long run against Natalia because her submission holds can be better whenever the legs are longer. Wait, wait. And a neck breaker. And once again. And taking her back into the corner. Oh, and some chops, punch and a chop, and another chop. You could hear his, her father yelling, whoa, right over there. Wait, wait, Sasha, oh, no, Sasha Banks, Natalia, making can come back. Oh, man, a chop of her own. Wait, Sasha Banks, oh, my God, Charlotte able to come back. Ooh. Charlie decided against the top rope. I guess she didn't really want to do that top rope move at all. And I can't really blame her. Top the top rope can be pretty scary. Oh. Oh, and another shot. Going for the pin now. One, two. No, not enough. And, oh, the drop kick. The drop kick did not connect. Wait, wait. Charlotte. Oh, thrown by Natalia. Natty. Wait, wait. Ooh. Natalia is starting to get some more offense into this. Oh! Wait, ooh, Natalia with the head. Oh, pulling back once again. This match is being televised around the world in 18 languages in over 110 countries. Absolutely amazing. The world is Okay, pulling once again on the head of Charlotte. Wait, she missed a chop. She missed a chop. Natalia able to move out of the way just in time. But, oh. Man. Now, is she going to go for the pin? Wait, oh. Wait, and Natalia, Natalia. Oh, man. Wait, Natalia. Oh, with a side suplex taking her down. One, two, and no, not enough, not enough to keep Charlotte down. Wait, oh man. Wait, Charlotte with the oh, just twisting him down. Wait, Ric Flair distracting Natalia. Natalia's offense is an impressive combination of oh, man. power and superb technique. She shows shades of WWE legend Dynamite Kid with her own version and of now. Suplex, various backbreakers in front of time in Japan. The Wait, wait. What are you looking for? Oh man. Go for the pin now. And no, no, she's able to grab the ropes. And now taking her back down. Once again, chanting the woo. I'm not sure if she knows what planet she's on after that. Ric Flair has to be loving exactly what she's he's seeing. His daughter beating Natalia right now. Now go for the pin. One, two, and no, not enough to keep Natalia down. 
It looks like there's some more fight left to this diva. Natalia is one of the most powerful women to ever. We're not called divas, Michael. We're called women. You piece of crap. Natalia can do anything in the ring, whether she has the divas championship or not. Natalia always carries herself like a champion. Well, Natalia's strength and intensity has propelled her to great heights. But this match still continuing. The most popular divas in WWE and one of the most Oh, and the nap by nature. Wait, 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 wait. Go for the roll up, roll up, roll up. One, two. No, no, no. Oh, man. Now go for the clothesline. And mm. Wait, wait, go for another roll up. When she enters the range, this might be it. One, two, no, no, no. And the spear, the spear. One, two, three, and Charlotte gets the big pinfall here tonight. Building up from momentum. Big win for Charlotte here tonight. Ric Flair helping her Charlotte. win. Thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed today's night, or today, tonight, tonight, today's night <laughs> episode, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And until then, guys, Charlotte with a big win, and I will see y'all next week for another season of this week's, or that week's, Universe Mode episode. Peace out.